life course theory and intergenerational relationships and families. Researchers have employed different approaches to analyzing intergenerational relationships and families. The life course theory stemmed from several longitudinal studies held in the first part and the middle of the 20th century. Elder states that the wealth of the obtained data enabled scholars to identify the relationship between socioeconomic factors and the development of individuals. The life course theory is also instrumental in exploring intergenerational relationships within families by the provision of insights into the effects of external and internal aspects on family members. One of the aspects addressed in terms of the theory under consideration is the analysis of the roots of inequality. Gilligan argues that inequality is often cumulative as it is transmitted across multiple generations. The disadvantages of a family member, be it their economic or social status, the lack of education, or physical conditions, tend to have adverse effects on new generations that are more affected by similar, as well as additional challenges. Baby boomers who were disadvantaged achieved lower results compared to their peers, which led to their families' less advantageous position and the accumulation of negative factors. For instance, an older family member's physical disability is associated with lower income and lower access to quality education and health care for younger members of the family, which exacerbates the disadvantageous position of all generations within the family. The theoretical paradigm under analysis helps in identifying the exact factors and mechanisms related to the increase of inequality in the USA. The life course theory also helps in understanding the peculiarities of intergenerational relationships and families in terms of attachment and link development. According to Tsai, people's transition to adulthood is related to considerable discontinuity within families. The researchers found no substantial differences across genders and ethnicities, so the transition to adulthood is characterized by common features. The decline of the ties during adolescence is mainly compensated during young adulthood, but external factors may often interfere with this process. For instance, parents' education has a significant effect on the children's perceptions related to family relationship continuity. Families with higher social status tended to have shorter periods of discontinuity, and it was often less pronounced. Thus, external aspects of social life have an impact on the way intergenerational relationships evolve. The framework under analysis also provides helpful insights into the ways family arrangements develop. It has been acknowledged that the coresidence of grandparents is often determined by the socioeconomic status of the family. At that, the impact on the financial security of parents or grandparents is central. Single mothers tend to live with their parents, and this coresidence is specifically common among underprivileged groups. As mentioned above, the financial constraints of the family contribute to the disadvantageous position of children. It is noteworthy that the input of grandparents has been explored in numerous studies. The peculiarities of these financial and other types of support influence children's and grandchildren's well-being and intergenerational relationships. Grandparents' age and socioeconomic status are influential factors affecting the development of families and individuals. In conclusion, it is possible to note that the life course theory assists in identifying the factors affecting the development of individuals, families, and relationships within families. The understanding of these mechanisms is important for the development of effective policies aimed at improving the well-being of individuals and communities. Based on the research guided by the framework in question, policymakers will create and establish initiatives that will contribute to the minimization of inequality, which in its turn will have a beneficial effect on the evolvement of American society.